Well, the value of having a soil pit is to actually see the environment that your plant's going to be dealing with. Um, in this environment, we've got a really nice um, friable, so it's very nicely structured uh, topsoil here. It's, it's some really nice arrangement here that allows the roots to get down, allows the, the, the water to get down. That's quite a light layer, so we'd say that's probably a, a, um, more of a silt based um, soil type. Then we move into this, <coughs> this here, which would say is our A2 or our um, the sort of top of where the plants are actively growing. And this is slightly heavier clay. It's got quite a bit more clay in it, but still it's very nicely structured um, and it's very nice for the roots to get down. We can see some of the root, root um, channels in there. And so that's allowing the roots to really access that layer really well. Then from here we go into, a, into more of a clay-based system where the, the clay content of the soil gradually increases as we go down to depth. And that also means that not only can that soil store a lot more water, but it actually makes it harder for the roots to pull that water out. So a lot of the water that's stored in a clay soil isn't that accessible to the roots. They have to work really hard to suck it up. But on the other hand, if we can get enough water into this layer, then that gives us a good security for the rest of the season um, to help pull that water up and keep, keep a crop going, even if we don't have much rain in spring like we did this year. So it's a bit harder to work with, um, but it's still, it's not too bad, it's not too heavy. Um, and it still allows some good root growth. So we can see that some roots are growing down, um, right down to some of those lower layers.